Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4, carrying on trying to complete all of the T and hole combinations, we're going to play Canaloa Beach in with the Mega Cups and the Long Tees, because I haven't set a score on this, it's a particular setup. So again, um, if you've seen some others, I've set scores for most of the traditional ones, but some of the types of shots, um, tees and clubs I haven't. Tees and clubs. Tees and cup types. I haven't set one for. So, now, can we drive that? Oh, let's give this a crack. Let's give this a crack. Got to put a bit of left to right on it just to um, give ourselves a bit of a safety margin. Wow, it's gone out the back. That's far further. Oh, I get a drop. I get a drop there. That's lucky. Okay, so it's not Tornado Cups, but it is Mega Cups. So there is a chance. Okay, so it's going to roll left to right. Let's hang it a tiny bit. Let's see if we can get this to roll in. Not the same as Tornado Cups. Your line is absolutely critical here. And you get no... Ah, oh, I just pitched past it. You get no kind of help from the cup. So you've got to get your pace right as well. Again, let's give this another another ch chance. In you go. So we get a birdie. Oh, the eagle is possible there, though. So an unconventional birdie with two chips and no putts. So 11 to par 5. And again, there's that little, that little break in the course. But again, with the level 21 club, shouldn't produce a real issue for me because I can drive past it. Um, and if you played, ah, oh, missed the shot. If you played, that's going to go right. That's wet, surely. Um, if you played it, EG Cup two, you'll know. Which standard clubs that gaps in the way? Ah, oh, and even worse, I lose shot and distance. I suppose I must have bounced out of bounds. Okay, hit the impact. There we go. Ah, oh, so that was a mistake. Oh wow, it's going to roll round again. Don't you dare go in. Oh, so that's two mistakes. So 160 to go. Interesting lie. Okay, let's play for there. I won't get any backspin, but you know, you want to kind of stop it as much as you can. There's plenty of green. Oh, that's going to get close. So four foot for the par. At least I left myself an easy putt. So we get away with a par there. Two terrible tee shots. Right, we've got to put that to the back of our mind and get on with it. So 12's a par 3. Okay, again, 7 irons. So the wind will get a hold of it. A little bit downhill. Got the ultra max spin. Oh, nice shot. Where's it gonna pitch? Gonna pitch left, but that's okay. It's the safe yeah. side to pitch. Just stop. It's gonna go back a bit far though. But leaves ourselves a good birdie pup, six oh, foot. Little bit of break, but again, mega cups are pretty forgiving beasts. Nice we'll take the birdie. We bit easier than our first birdie. It's a par four. Now again, EG Cup with standard clubs. I had to play a really interesting line down here that I've never played before onto that island. But should be okay. The one wood should give us more than enough distance. Um, it's all about where you pitch it, basically. And obviously, super top spin's going to help. Master Hall. Where's that going to land? It's killed a bit of its pace, but it's got it pretty close. So 15 foot. Gives us a chip. Okay, it's going to run to the left when it when it lands. I'm going to lose a bit of distance. Again, a little bit of top spin. Let's just see if we can roll it up. Our yeah, line wasn't quite right. Perfect roll, though. That's what you want. You want to start rolling before the hole. And you can let the green influence it. But, got the birdie pup, which we'll take. A birdie. 
So it gets us to three under. Ah, oh, 14. It's a powerful. That bloody arch. Oh, have I got the legs to drive that? Oh, we're going to have a go at this. I've always wanted to do this, but I've never had the um, the clubs for it. She's basically water skip. All right, you'll end up in the sand. But even with a soft skip off the water, you shouldn't be plugged. Oh, I actually even got up onto the fairway. There you go. So what's that, 4.15? Wow. 4.16, that's a drive, isn't it? So, got a proper chance now. Let's see if we can roll this up. Line's good. It's rolling, it's rolling. Ah. Oh. Position A, though. That's exactly what you want to try and do. Give yourself a real chance. And again, we get the birdie. So 15 is a par 3. 15 is a par 3. 200 yards, so it's not too long. So it's the 5 I'm playing. A little bit downhill. Or a bit of backspin. All about where it lands. It's landed on the front edge. Just skipped on a bit. Yeah, still on the green though. So 10 foot putt back. A little bit of break. A little bit uphill. Should be, should be okay. There we go. So that gets us to 5 under. 4-5-4 four, four finish. Oh, 16. It's a path. 16's got that interesting little dog leg in it, hasn't it? So there's two options here. I might try and play that line. Do I need a power shot? Let's have a look. It is a bit uphill. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, it's into the headwind a bit. I think we will play it. Okay. Got the ultra top spin. Great shot. We don't need a bit of foliage. We should be all right. Where are we going to pitch? Ah, just pitching a bit of the rough stuff. Ah, where's that going? Skittering around on the car park. I think you get a drop off the car park. Yeah, so you get a drop because it's on a man-made object. So there you go. Again, we've got a chance at a chip and run here. Nice lie. Again, just a little bit of topspin. Pitch it. Let it green take it. Got it in. There you go. Chipping eagle. I mean, if you could do one of those on teeny cups, I'd be super impressed. But um, on a mega cup, they're, they're pretty achievable. Okay, so par five next. Oh, 17. Ah, 17. It's a par five. Yeah. Condorable, apparently. Not with these clubs, though. I'm not on the long tees. Basically, what you do is you play up there and get it to bounce up. I don't quite have the, the legs for it today. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Missed the Master ultra spin. Horse. Oh, I think I'm going to hit the sand. Oh, just, just. I'm still in the rough though, so it's not perfect. Okay, let's club it up a bit because we're going to lose a bit from being in the rough. Okay, about there probably. Bravo! Wind should bring that back. There's a nice bit of place to land, a bit of approach fairway for a better term, and I'll take that. Three and a half foot. Oh, for the eagle! I'll take that all day long. Yes, an eagle. So yeah, a bit worried about the first shot there, but we got the great second shot and set up the easy putt. Last so two eagles. Oh, can we get? It's a path. Can we get a third? Now the option here is you can hit it right down the throat. The issue is you got to stop it. Okay. 
got a bit of side on it. A bit of spin. Where's that going to land? Hopefully I'm a little bit of rough there. Ah, oh, just pitched away, didn't it? Okay. So 15 yards back. Okay, again, we're going to try and try and run it in. Ah, uh, just off the line, just off line. It's a seven foot put back. Uh, it's not too difficult to putt, for honest. Should be able to claim that and get us 10 under. So not a great round, but not a bad round. Uh, but we've set one, we've got one on the board and then we can, we can try and improve it. Uh, those two eagles, pretty interesting. I mean, there's going to be people getting 20-ish, 20, 20 under, I'd imagine. Oh, 17, okay. Yeah, so we've got 14, yeah. Okay. I'm not happy, I could definitely improve that. But we'll try that another time. So stats-wise, I had a monster drive, didn't I? On the hole with the arch. So 450 is my official best. 416, so I've got a new best drive. But then it's unofficial, isn't it? Ah, so it doesn't count. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a bit more of everybody's golf.